First off in Google, type in Windows 7 Beta, go to the Microsoft download site, and once there, choose your 32 or 64 bit operating system. You're going to enter some information about yourself first name, last name, email address, and you know a little bit about yourself. At the bottom, go ahead and click continue. Then go check your email, follow the link, and then continue there. You'll be brought to this site. Remember to copy down your product key because you'll need that. Once done, click download now and you'll be set. All right, so let me take you in and show you the main differences um, between Windows Vista or Mac OS X compared to the all new Windows 7 Beta Build 7000. Now let me just log in for you. And here you have it. All right, so let me just walk you around. You know, you got regular icons like you would with any other windows. Uh, the icons are exactly the same as Windows Vista. In the beta build here, we have a send feedback button so we can send feedback. I hope all you beta testers or people testing this out are giving good feedback. Um, in the bottom right corner, it's telling you that it's the beta build, Windows 7. It's for testing purposes only, build 7000. Um, all right, so down here, instead of the regular taskbar like uh, Windows Vista had, we've got the dock on the side here. So what this dock shows you is, so let me just open up here, hover over it. Uh, I'm hovering over Google Chrome, by the way. So hover over it, and it gives you a selection, or actually, you know, it gives you a selection of what's open, and then go up and hover over those, and it'll show you uh, the windows that are opened. That is actually pretty cool. So you don't actually have to click on it to see what's happening. You just hover over the windows, and it'll show you. The way you know there's multiple tabs open is because right next to this, let me just zoom in and show you here. Right next to there, there is a second flap. So see here, there's none. Next to there, there's two. Next to there, there's three. So that's how you know there's multiple uh, windows open for that. All right, so here I've got multiple things open just to show you a quick example. Um, it's pretty quick actually. I'm very surprised how quick it is. It's a much greater improvement over Windows Vista. Um, they reworked Windows Media Player a bit, so let me just play a song for you. This is how it looks like. I really like uh, the change in look. I'm really impressed by that. Close that. Let me show you how video plays. Let's go into widescreen. And see how this play bar, the bar at the bottom, um, is now transparent. So when you move your mouse away, it disappears. I love how that is. It reminds me a lot of Mac. Um, so they did a very good job in switching to this transparency type thing. Once you move away, the bar disappears. Also, if I minimize that, just like Windows Vista, hover over it and it's playing in real time so even while it's playing you could hover over it check it out just like that without clicking on it also you have a pause option so you can pause it play it go next go back you know it's up to you so that is actually pretty um, impressive in its own let me just shut this alright so let's say you have all these windows open and you want to get back to uh, the desktop in the bottom right corner there's a show desktop hover over it and everything goes transparent that is pretty good um, and click on it to view the desktop so I love how that is um, alright so let me show you the start button just like Windows Vista you've got uh, you know your home folder documents pictures music computer, control panel, regular shit like that. 
Uh, you've got Vista's quick search right here, so you can type in whatever you like, and you'll find it. I typed in the dark and the dark night showed up. Um, that's the only video I have starting with the dark, so um, it's good that that showed up. It would, didn't take long either. Um, it was pretty quick. Index your computer and it'll be even quicker. Uh, so, you know how this is. Click on all programs. It doesn't show up on the side like you know XP does. It just fades into it on this side, so that's pretty cool. Um, another difference is that if you right click on a desktop, you've got these extra options at the bottom. You've got screen resolution, gadgets, and pit and personalize. Let's go into screen resolution. And right now I'm running at 1280 by 1040. You could change it like that. The interface is real user friendly. I love how it is. Um, detect windows, identify your windows. Easy like that. Um, another thing, let's go to gadgets. Now instead of having a sidebar, uh, what they did is they had it so you could just place them freely on your desktop. Just drag them wherever you want. And uh, it's good like that. I like, uh, I like this decision too because I really didn't like the sidebar having it having, you know, just the whole sidebar idea wasn't going good for me. So, um, I really like this idea better. Place those wherever you want, and that's golden. Also, let's go to Personalize. And inside this window, you have different themes that you could set up. So right now I have it set to the default. You could change it here. They have a landscape option just to show you. And see how there's multiple pictures behind there? Um, in the default, there's only one picture, but in landscape, there's multiple. That means that after time, your background does change. You could set this up. This, I believe they got this from Mac, because in Mac, you could also do that as well. Have your background um, change every so often. So they did a good job at that. And it doesn't take long to switch in between. You just click on it, plays a little sound, and it transforms into it. So if you don't like any of the preset uh, themes, you could also get more online, or you could create your own. You could set, you know, just like Windows Vista, you could set your uh, transparency color, you know, the bar here, how transparent you want it. You want it really thick, or you want it thin. Um, nothing new there. Also, you could set this to the side. Just like that, with any window actually, I believe. Just open this up. Yeah, just drag your window to the side and it'll go to the side. Drag this to that side and it'll go to the side. So you don't have to play around with, you know, dragging it up and down, left and right, like that shit. Just drag it to the side and it'll go like that. Um, that is pretty cool as well. Drag it to the top, it goes full screen. Drag it to the bottom, does nothing, I believe. Um, and that's that. So top, full screen, sides will make it go half screen on each side. So that's pretty nice. It's a feature they added. Um, other than that, you know, it's pretty much Windows Vista. It runs more smoothly, I believe. Um, no slowdown. I haven't had any issues with slowdown. But, that yen but yet then again, I haven't played video games on it or anything graphically intensive or CPU intensive in that case. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait and see how it goes up against Windows Vista um, or the joke we all call Windows Vista as well as Mac OS and Windows XP.